Hello and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Derek Welker and today we will be discussing some tech tips that were presented at our 2017 rollout events. My first tip has to do with the mirror tool and mouse travel. When using the mirror tool I always check to see if there is a plane I can mirror about. While I am in the feature tree I pre-select the plane to automatically populate the plane into the mirror tool. From there I have to select the feature out of the flyout feature tree. There is a lot of mouse travel involved in this. By selecting on my plane, I am presented with a quick selection toolbar. If I right click on the menu, I can actually customize it. Selecting on the feature category allows me to add the mirror tool into my toolbar. Now selecting on the plane will present the new toolbar with the mirror tool. You can already see the mouse travel decreased with this small tip. What if I told you I could make it even better? By control selecting on the plane and the feature and selecting the mirror tool in our quick toolbar, it will place them in their respective dialog boxes. You can see how much less mouse travel I needed to accomplish this than before. This tip is specific for the mirror tool, but you can add in any tool you want to that menu and even any menu in SOLIDWORKS. Now let's take a look at some sketching tools. First, let me start a sketch on this face. By using my mouse gestures, I can quickly access my line tool. While sketching some lines, we know there are a lot of inferred relations that get added into our sketch, including horizontal and vertical lines. With SOLIDWORKS, if there was any relation that you do not want it to automatically add, you can just hold down the control key while placing the sketch entity, and it will disregard any inferred relation. Using the shift tool will make SOLIDWORKS snap to specific lengths that are set up within the tool options. This allows for quick sizing of sketch entities without the need to change any dimensions after the fact. Now that our sketch is created, we can check to see if our geometry is valid for the feature we want to do. By using our S key, it automatically starts typing in our search window. My search window is set up for search commands and I will just search for the check sketch tool. By selecting on the feature I want to do, this tool will tell me if there was anything wrong with my sketch contours. As you can see, there is a problem with the sketch. By selecting on OK, SOLIDWORKS will highlight where the error is occurring and we know that there is an extra line that needs to be deleted. After exiting the tool, we can now delete the line. We are ready to create our cut. By using the new Alt Contour selection within 2017, we can quickly create our cut with even less mouse travel. Thank you for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. Stay tuned for the next part in our 2017 Rollout Tech Tip videos. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below. 